Hi, my name is Brian. Um, I have two Missouri Wind and Solar Raider 1600 watt three phase PMAs. Um, what I'm doing, trying to do here is figure out the power I'm getting out of these. Um, the nine blade, I originally bought two nine blade um, Raiders and I wasn't getting much spin out of them. So I took the one of them, I changed the PMA to an older PMA that I had bought for uh, eventually Hydro and I put that on there and the other one I changed to Hub and put, made it a 13 blade. Uh, this is on a 40 foot pole which we had a lot of fun putting up and you can see it's on my garage and I don't know if you can see the PMAs um, they are different. There's, uh, like I say, one's an older one and one's one of the newer ones. Now, the newer one I took off of the um, nine blade there, I have hooked up to a three horsepower motor. Um, this is the pulley and the um, uh, other thing that for uh, to change the PMA from wind to gas or hydro. Um, that's uh, I'm going to start that up in a minute. What I want to show you is my system. Uh, let's go inside the garage here. And everything's a mess, but it happens when you're not around very often. You're working all the time. So anyway, this is my battery I bought from GB. It's a thousand amp hour battery, uh, 24 volt system, which uh, actually is working pretty good. And here's my inverter, which is a Magnusign Magnum Energy. It's an awesome inverter. It has a charger in it also, a 100 amp charger. Um, this puts out uh, 30 amps per leg. It has two legs plus a common. It's almost just like your house, only it's 30 amps. Um, between one leg and commons, 120 volts, and the other leg and commons, 120 volts. And between the two legs, you get 240 which uh, is the reason why I bought this, so I can run my water pump. Okay, um, up here are my three uh, uh, rectifiers. One, two, and three. This is the one hooked up to the, to the engine outside. This is for the 13 blade. This is the 9 blade. Uh, also the uh, charge controller and the dump load. Okay, um, over here is my voltmeter and up above is my power going into the garage and house. Um, my, down here is my meters. You can see my meters. Um, this meter here is for, I just have one solar panel hooked up to that one. So it's getting dark so I ain't getting anything, nothing out of it hardly. This is for three solar panels. And there's maybe about two amps at the mouse coming out of it right now. Um, this is everything going in, including the solar and the wind turbines, plus the gas motor. This is the power going out from the battery to the inverter. Okay, now what I want to show you here is I have a, um, a voltmeter hooked up right now to the um, rectifiers, and I'll show you that when I turn this on you can see the light flashing. Oh, I gotta turn the other one on too. Okay, um, we should be getting about three or four flashes out of it anyway. And we got one, two, three, four flashes. That's about right. Now what I have done is I have put a switch on that so I can turn that off because the last time I did this I fried up the charge controller which is right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's fried. It's smoked. So, I got a new one, I put it on, and here we go. Alright, now you can see that the voltage meter is up to 25.3. It reads an extra, you know, 0 0.2 off, I think, which isn't bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut off both wind turbines and my charge controller is off. Let me see. Yeah, it's on. Okay, now that's off. And I'm also going to disconnect that for right now. Alright, well, I'm going to go outside. 
and I'm going to start up the motor and let's see what kind of power we get out of this now I tried to go one to one on the ratio between the motor and the PMA and it's this PMA is really hard to turn and it would just kill the motor so anyway let's start up the motor Okay, now as you can see, I'm getting about 135 volts somewhere around there out of the rectifier. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and here's the meter. Now I'm going to turn it on and let's see how much that meter moves. Oh, what do we do? About two, three amps. Turn it off. On. And about three amps. Okay, there's our voltage, and it's on right now. I turn it off. We got 140 volts somewhere around there. We turn it on, and it goes back down to 26 volts. Now, uh, what are we getting for amperage? We're not getting any amperage out of here hardly. We're getting about five amps, maybe at the most. Um, okay, let's go over here and look at the sheet. Now this is pulled right off of the Missouri Wind and Solar. You can see this sheet uh, about 200, about, let's say 300 RPMs. I should be getting 12 amps. At um, 1,000 RPMs, I should be getting 48 amps. 24 volt charging, and that's what they're advertising. Now let's look at the amp meter. What am I looking at? Five amps, maybe. Turn it off. And on five amps somewhere around there, maybe five amps or so. I don't see the amperage. Where's the amperage? So you know, there's a voltage. 162 volts. We look over here, and if we look at 162 volts, it should be putting out a lot of amperage at that, that speed. 165 volts. We turn it on. About five amps. Uh, where's the amperage? I don't see the amperage here. I really don't. Um, this is now I talked to Wyatt at Missouri Wind and he told me to send the PMA back that he thinks I have been given a 48 volt PMA. Um, I don't think so. Um, I mean you've got 160 something volts coming out of here and you know it goes just don't see the amperage where's the amperage here got five amps five amps that's all i'm getting uh don't know what else to say here is um let's see where's the amps sort of like where's the beef uh i'll just give you a, a there we go you can see everything now um i just don't understand why these aren't putting out what they're advertising. I mean, this is the reason I